first things first wish you and your family a very happy dhanteras and thanks once again for watching and liking this channel now one of the biggest global event which happens next week is the us elections in my personal opinion donald trump's campaign is picking up heat and one barometer test that i have is cryptocurrency one of the biggest patrons for crypto and donald trump right now elon musk he is touted to get a very important position in the trump administration if this duo comes to power how will it impact india india's economy stock markets your stocks and sectors we'll talk about that in the nugget section today now today's day was a crazy day it started very low in fact most stocks that were up a lot yesterday they went down people are reminded of a mini friday and then nifty went up consolidated suddenly shot up and it was a banking day actually banking sector all the big nbfcs they were on fire no surprises nifty 18 stocks were down but 32 up sbi contributed most followed by icici bank hdfc bank the fourth one defense bharat electronics the fifth one ntpc i talked about it yesterday also that ntpc got the nod for the listing of ntpc green and that will take the stock up this will slowly creep up more only now what was down despite fantastic results profit tripling nearly bharti airtel was the worst performer this is the irony of stock markets that the expectations are so high maruti results were not bad compared to its peers and the ecosystem it is in right now still the stock was punished along with it tata motors went down further infosys was down sun pharma despite the good results yesterday was down it didn't even go up a lot yesterday the sibling sector next 50 that was doing very well 19 stocks were down 31 up but look at the out performers macro tech 7 percent jsw 6 percent pfc rec the twins i've been talking about them for a week they have not made new highs or gone up a lot but they are looking very strong canada bank good results up three percent what was not looking good dabar torrent pharma ioc pedilite godrej now look at the irony of ioc it was beaten down when mrpl results came out it was beaten down when hpcl and bpcl results came out and now its own results came out it is beaten again market bet was good look at the size of the tower for banking insurance sector was next followed by aerospace and defense two of the large sectors were however down the worst was auto and it while the day looked good here what is not looking good is the winners in last 15 days it is a very small list investment banking still at the top aerospace and defense is number two now this one is banks yesterday it was a green day yesterday also today sbi five percent up yesterday it was a 1.5 percent pfc was up five percent today yesterday it was up three percent indian bank was up five percent yesterday it was up 10.6 percent overall 16 17 percent in two days canada bank was up three percent yesterday up seven percent today that's a ten percent gain in two days overall banks are looking good right now bank nifty hdfc icici all three of them are in the greens today one thing to also note is that the greens are collecting at the top the reds are collecting at the bottom that is people are interested more in owning large banks compared to the smaller banks and nbfcs now let me show you a very interesting element today reliance was up 0.4 percent tcs was down 0.4 percent hdfc was up one percent atl was down 1.7 percent icic was up three percent infosys was down 1.4 percent sbi was up five percent hul was down overall fantastic balancing by alternate stocks look at the volatility of reliance today went up came down same amount went up came down these are nearly one percent kind of moves such volatility in the largest stock now my general expectation is that hdfc will consolidate but icici will come down tomorrow sbi will come down profit booking reliance will be up because there is an acquisition news from uk a 100 million pound company i also expect infosys to be up the dividend part is done and i expect a tell to be strong tomorrow it has been sulking for nearly two weeks 
for the expiry, I think some short covering is required in Airtel. Today, Indusind was the only red stock. Bandhan also was red. However, that is profit booking after a stupendous run yesterday. Look at the distance from 52 week high post Axis Bank. It's almost like two different cities. The worst sector today was auto. Maruti results were not liked by the market. Now one more day and Mahindra may go to the top. And Ola Electric no respite, another low. In fact, it is breaking my software on a daily basis. That is because the software is used to seeing all time highs, not all time lows. Defense stocks had a good outing today. Nearly all stocks were in the green. That two big ones, BL up 5%, Cochin Shipyard 5%. However, the volumes were good only for BL. One good news for HL today came out that the government is imposing fines on G, which is not supplying the engines to HL for the Tejas helicopters, which are super delayed by HL. Just like Defense, Metals 2 had a good day. How the run-up came roughly after 2 o'clock only, that is when the entire market surged. Today, I have included Adani Enterprise in the metal pack because that is how it is listed in Nifty Metal Index. Adani Enterprise's results were good, market liked it. Hindustan Zinc had another outing that was up from the beginning of the day. I already talked about IOC. The remaining sector was fine today. This is a bit strange because crude was below 72. I did expect ONGC and oil to suffer a little today. But I guess being in red is good enough punishment for oil. This stock was in green about 10 days back, making new highs every day. In 10 days, fortunes have turned. There was nothing special in the power sector today, but there was a lot in the power ancillary because PFC was up 5%, REC up 4.5%. Also, Siemens and ABB recovered today. That is after a spell of 5-6 really bad days. In the consumption edible stocks, Nestle and Dabur are in the red. Dabur was down 3% today. Varun Beverages is indecisive where to go. Standout stock for the day, Gillette made a new high up 11%, 50x volumes. No very large towers today in investing, but overall the sector was looking good today also. HDFC, AMC continuously up. BSC continuously up, Mutyal Oswal as usual went up, MCX made a new high, ICI securities went up, it is in the green zone now, it did not do much, that is because the results were compared with CAMS which I mentioned yesterday also, that results of CAMS were better, does not mean KFIN's results were not good. And I don't have any bias, I own both of them. Look at the distance from 52 week lows. None of these stocks is in a hurry to get into the red zone. While IT was down 0.4% and auto of course was down, led by Maruti and Tata Motors. Overall the day was good. Nifty 0.5%, Bank Nifty 2%, Nifty Energy up half percent, Next 50 up three quarter of a percent. And of course DIs have got slow towards the century, happens to a lot of players. But just 800 crores away now with two more days to go. Yes, 30th and 31st both are working days for stock market. 1st November is a holiday. Gold and silver both looking good. Bitcoin of course made a record today, 71,400. So US markets did not close as strong as we left them yesterday. Let's try and see if we can refresh this. Yes, this is refreshed. So as of roughly around 7.30, US markets are consolidating. This is the news which I was talking about earlier, Reliance New Energy. RIL subsidiary that completes acquisition of remaining stake in the UK company. This is in green energy space. This is a space where Reliance really wants to go big. My trades for that day, nothing big. Indian bank was giving good results. I had decent quantity and it had gone up 16% in just last two days. So for now, I have booked profits. The three options which I was holding since yesterday, all three of them are in deep reds. I'll probably visit them tomorrow. I didn't book the losses today because I think these three, all three stocks are looking good right now. Just that they had a bad day today. Overall, a green day. What will happen to your and my portfolio if Donald Trump wins the election? First impact, 
IT sector, this has a huge, huge correlation with the US. Now, if we go back in time to Trump's previous innings, he will prefer the companies to work in US, not outsource much. So US companies will find it difficult to import IT workforce. In any case, this has not happened too much. But outsourcing to India, there may be some new taxes. This may not be seen very well by the IT companies. In the short term, we might see a problem for the outsourcing industry as well as for the people who are trying to move to US. What will this lead to long term? And this has happened many, many times in the past, in the last 25 years. Entire divisions, maybe companies will move to Bangalore, Hyderabad, Pune, some new IT destinations. In the long run, it could be good for India. Oil sector, now there are two elements of it. Let me draw a line. There is a Trump and there is an Elon Musk. In my opinion, Trump is a little in favor of fossil fuels. Elon Musk is totally for EVs. There could be an influence, a huge one of Elon on Trump. But in general, Trump will probably work on stabilizing oil prices, keep them a bit low. This will not be good for Ryan's ONGC, Oil India. And also MRPL and Chennai Petro to a large extent, but that will be good for the oil marketing companies, IOC, BPCL, HPCL. In the long term, the domestic rates will be calibrated to align with the international rates. That will also keep inflation in check both in US and India as a side effect. Now, power sector India should not have any impact from Trump or Elon Musk. Long term wise, the P's of ONGC oil may get corrected. India versus China for US imports. Now Trump does not like importing at all. He says MAGA, which is make America great again. Now, I don't think he will kick both India and China at the same time. He would probably choose China to start with, but there will be enough for India also to think about, especially the petrodollar part. If India is buying crude outside dollar from Iran, Russia, then US will put pressure on everyone to not buy the finished product from India. So in the short term, India's exports may take a beating, especially the crude related ones. In the long run, a lot will depend upon the diplomacy between the two countries, whether they find a solution or there is a tit for tat kind of sanctions on each other. US taxes and global economy. Last time Trump reduced the taxes on industry drastically. He might do something similar to kickstart the US economy to take it up. In any case, Elon Musk has been talking a lot about the economy, the ticking bomb because of the 33, 34 trillion dollars of trade deficit, which has accumulated as a debt on the US balance sheet. The income taxes in US may go up. The industrial taxes or the commercial taxes may remain same or may be revised lower for certain categories of industries which are supposed to help US export more. Overall, US economy, if it stabilizes, then global economy will tide the wave along with them and the economies globally will settle down a bit. The wars also may reduce a little because to revive the economy and revive the overall industrial cycle, you need peace in general. That is something Trump may advocate. That is something actually mid term, not short term or long term. Long term, this will have a good impact on the US economy. Whoever wins, there would be obviously one profit booking in the US markets. 10-15% is given that this much stock markets can fall anytime, but markets will be positive only after that. But we have seen in the last 15 days, US markets have been up, Indian markets have been down. So this does not guarantee our markets will be up. Dollar will strengthen as a side effect, rupee will weaken, Bitcoin will go up, 80,000 is given in my books if Trump wins and something big will happen in the US economy. We will probably have something with gold and crypto coming up as a standard. I'm not saying that US dollar will become backed by gold or crypto here, but I do sense there will be some new standard emerging as a global standard where even if crypto becomes strong, that will benefit the US government, not a general global thing. Long term, this will not be good for Indian imports. It will be good for Indian exports. But since we import more, this will impact our trade deficit and rupee will weaken. Be ready for 86, 87 by the budget time. Hope this was useful. If you disagree with any of these points, do let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.